just uh, been doing all the brake lines on the new truck. I uh, thought I'd do a bit of an update video and show everyone how it's all going. But yeah, we got the master cylinders in the other day. Um, got our hardline brakes all in place. Um, for those that don't know, these trucks, actually a lot of uh, off-road, road, well, most race cars I, I, I'd imagine, are um, running uh, two master cylinders, one covers the front braking circuit, one's the rear. Um, in our case, the rear circuit is also plumbed into our staging brake. Um, which allows us to pull on the brake at any time. It acts like a handbrake, hydraulic handbrake, and um, except for it's not ratchety. It's free. It won't be that floppy once it's got fluid in there. But um, yeah, we, we can pull on that at any time and it's going to jam on the rear brakes. And then when it's sitting in that neutral position, the fluid just flows through it like normal. Um, so when you hit the brake pedal, um, the front and the rear will, uh, will engage. Um, we also set up our balance bar. So we've got our two master cylinders in here. This is our balance bar adjustment, just done from here. We can change our brake bias front to rear on the fly. We've got our front brake assembly all on, all roughed in. So we've opted to maintain hard line for as much as we can on the truck. We've only got these flexible braided lines where we had to. So obviously at this point here, where the upright turns in and out, we needed to have some flexibility and also in here where our um, where the arms coming up and down that had to be um, flexible so we've just got a nice short 10 inch flex line there and of course we've got our Another flex line in here coming onto the top control arm for the rear diff. And it runs down and back into hard line. And we've put all the hard lines on the back sides of things. So most of the time we're going to be, um, most of the time we're hopefully going to be traveling forward. So the idea was put the brake lines on the back side of everything then gives it a bit of mechanical protection so we don't uh, unnecessarily rip any brake lines off so yeah that's where we're at with the truck uh, start doing the fuel lines today um, yeah thanks for watching if you haven't already like us on the uh, team outlaws 4x4 facebook page and um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.